Hello everyone and welcome to today's daily message. Mark recently preached on Jesus being in the house and I want to tell you a story about Jesus being in the house during this pandemic. My friend, who I will call Claire, was diagnosed with cancer last year, had chemotherapy and was due to have surgery just as we went into lockdown. Her surgery was cancelled a couple of days before it was due, with no date for when it would take place. Around this time, as part of a local community initiative, Tim and I received a leaflet offering support if we were self-isolating. There was an address and a mobile number for someone I would call Linda, who lives in a flat close by. Linda also said that she worked full time in a hospital. I texted Linda and said that we should be supporting her as a hospital worker and that we would pray for her safety. Linda responded by thanking me and saying that she would be praying for everyone too and encouraging start to a relationship. Since then, on a weekly basis, I have texted Linda to see how she is and ask if there is anything she wanted prayer for. On Easter Sunday, I wished her Happy Easter and unusually I didn't have a quick response. The following day, Linda told me that she was very worried about her good friend, who I would call Joe, who is a care worker, self-isolating, living alone and appeared to have the virus. Linda had taken her meals and medication and Jo had rung 111 for advice on her breathing. I asked for, for permission to share this with our small group so that we could all pray for Jo. Linda agreed and we prayed. After a worrying few days, Jo made a good recovery. Two weeks ago, I asked Linda if she was at home and would like some flowers from our garden. We had our first brief socially distanced meeting when I delivered them. Last week I did this again and had a longer chat with Linda outside her front door. She told me that she was enjoying a change in her usual work. She's now working with cancer patients in a separate unit set up specifically for their treatment during lockdown. I mentioned my friend Claire and the cancellation of her surgery. Linda encouraged me to contact Claire and tell her to push for her surgery. I contacted Claire that evening. She told me that quite unexpectedly she had heard that she would have her surgery the following day. I told her about Linda and to look out for her. Linda, who was working the following day, said that she would look out for Claire. In the midst of Claire's anxiety about her surgery and all the necessary barriers of PPE, it was so reassuring for Claire when introduced for Claire when Linda introduced herself and spent time looking after her. Do I believe in coincidence? Yes, I do. But in this story, there are too many coincidences. I believe that in the months to come, 
we will hear many stories from our church family, from the Worcester church family, and from across the, the world of the Holy Spirit being at work. Jesus is in the house. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that during these anxious and uncertain times, you are at work within our church family and across the church in our nation. And we look forward with joy to hearing stories of your presence, Jesus in the house. Amen. When lockdown is lifted, Linda and I have pledged to enjoy a glass of wine together in our garden. And Linda has asked to come to church with us. Hashtag clean hands, open hearts. <laughs>